Welcome to my very first TMT. Guess what that stands for? It stands for 10 minute talk. Okay, I'm going to start doing these as opposed to doing 20 and 30 minute videos. 10 minute talks I think are more effective. People don't get bored. I get the point out. I get it across. No fluff. No fancy, you know, uh, I know you're going to hate to hear this, but no introduction and no credits at the end. It's just straight to the point, straight shooting video where I talk about one thing and only one thing and then let you get on about your day. Today's TMT is about homelessness in Ecuador. You don't see homelessness here like you do in the United States. I got an email from somebody asking me about this because I know it's a real problem in the United States. I remember when I was in Phoenix and I was working on a project where I was doing some photography and some documentary type stuff with some homeless people in downtown Phoenix. And I was overwhelmed by the number of people that were out roaming the streets and sleeping in tents and sleeping under blankets and, you know, just in the streets, period. And finally somebody took me and showed me a whole block that was set aside with nothing but tents for homeless people. It's a major problem in the United States. But guess what? If you come here, you're not going to see it that much here. There are homeless people here. I don't think there's that many homeless Ecuadorian people. I know there are some, but not like you see in the United States. Most of the homeless people here sleep on the beach at night. I'm talking about here in Monta. I, don't, I can't speak for Quito or Cuenca or Guayaquil. But here in Monta, most of the homeless people stay on the beach at night because it's a lot cooler down there and they're just away from the concrete and they're sleeping on the sand and so forth. And that probably explains why the police don't like for people to go to the beach after dark because bad things happen. I have seen homeless people here sleeping on the sidewalk. I saw one person sleeping on the sidewalk down the street from me here a couple of weeks ago. I was on a Sunday morning, I was walking down to the mall and there he was under his blankets and stuff and had a little dog with him he was obviously a homeless person, and no clue where he was from, but you do see it. I will say this, if you're walking around the streets of Monta, and you're seeing homeless people, you're probably in a bad area. You're probably, you're, you're probably somewhere where you don't need to be. Don't, don't, don't go those places, all right? You're, it's still, even though homelessness is not as big of a problem here as it is in the United States, it still does exist, and if you think, oh, well, it's okay, then you need to change your way of thinking because it's not okay to be hanging around in areas where the homeless people are. So, that's the point I wanted to make. I, want, this is, I, I got an email this morning from a lady and from Cedar Park, Texas, where they have a homeless problem there, a little town, Cedar Park, Texas, outside of Austin, which is where I grew up. It was sad to hear that, that is such a problem there, but I'm glad to say that in answer to the person that asked me this question, that it's not as big a deal here as it is there. On the next video, I just want to give you a little quick preview. I want to talk about some things in the next video. I'm just waiting for an answer from the author to give me uh, permission to use her name. Uh, she brought us some good questions. She asked me about uh, the differences and some wanting to have a discussion about uh, the differences between private health insurance and IESS. I wanted to talk about visa options, uh, particularly uh, trying to figure out what is the best for her situation and so forth, given the fact that, you know, some people get discounts on them, one visa is better than the other one, and so forth. So I'm going to try to answer that question. Uh, another uh, topic that she brought up is about getting a car here. Uh, there's a lot of discussion about buying a car here. Lots of people say you don't buy a car here. Well, it's, I, don't, I don't buy that. You know, I, I'm going to buy a car and I'm going to tell you all about it uh, when the time is right. And then she also, she brought up a good point. She saw pictures that she sees of the Monta beachfront. But what about the rest of Monta? And I'm going to tell you all about that. That'll be in the next video uh, sometime in the next couple of days. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. That's it from Monta. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.
I want to make today the best day of your entire life. You know, that means a lot to me. I wish more people would care. You have a favorite sports team, right? Yeah. What team is that? The Rams. I'm going to take you to a Rams game. Oh my gosh. We're going to go see them. Oh my gosh. We're going to take you in the stadium, but the experience of a lifetime. I'm going to introduce you to one of the star players, Cooper Cup. Oh no. You mean he'd come over here? I want to get his autograph. How you doing? Great to meet you. God, you're really good. Thank you very much. Yes. Hope we put on a good show for you today. Can I sign this for you? He's going to sign it for you, Mr. Good. Cooper Cup signing it. Oh boy, my heart was going like crazy. My heart was beating. I was up on cloud nine. I was way up there. Miracles happen. Yeah, miracles do happen. My life now is completely changed. You've done a wonderful, beautiful thing for me. Happiest day of my life.